welcome <laughs> this is the um, love energy vibration reading for the month of December for the Capricorn Sun Moon and Rising sign I want to say thank you for being here thank you for being back thank you for the wonderful um, energy vibration oh my god you Capricorns okay that's so the battery died <laughs> in the Virgo reading so I am doing the readings while the battery charge because so much to do so I can't wait until they charge so um, it's good because when I'm standing I think I I can channel I like the energy when I'm standing because when I'm doing the moon I channel and I stand when I'm doing the readings also the weekly readings so um, let's go in and see what is coming up for you Capricorn so we're calling on um, the goddess of love um, Venus the goddess of love and all um, the legions of angels to come in and show us what is the energy vibration of reading for you Capricorns okay I did lay that out on the tables for the Virgos and trying to see how it's gonna work but like I always have to <laughs> walk over to the table or I could push the table out a little bit and then we see how that is going so we might just to see how that is going okay so I think um, this will work for you guys I think okay. so here we go so um, I hope you guys can see me I have to work on the table because I have to show um, the cards so um, please let me know how you find these videos and um, let's go in the love reading so we're calling up on Venus, um, the um, energy of love and all the guiding angels and love angels from Capricorn Sun and Horizon to come in to see what's transpiring. So we have control issues. I hope you guys can see this. We have control issues coming up and that's going to be in the first week. Then we have the mature man. So some of you mature men could be um, having some control issues then we have this is someone from a past life so some of you could be reconnecting with someone from a past life and there is some um, energy that they need to work on so you ladies between the ages of 45 zero to 45 are really having some control issues that you need to deal with because that's ruin your relationship some of you um mature men are looking for fun times some of you young ladies um this could be um 26 to 45 years old you have you are really having some control issues but you're looking for fun time but you want you're having control issues definitely passion is coming in passion is definitely coming in but you may just it's it's really affecting you guys because you're in a relationship you want to have fun but you still want to control people and that's what's ruined in your relationship okay so let's see what's coming up in the third week we have the energy of someone and whoever you ladies are um it could be a lawyer um it could be someone in Ooh, a gift is coming in some of you might be meeting a lawyer or a judge or a CEO or a doctor um, someone in business but whoever this person is is very powerful and you're going to be having some spiritual connection with this person this person could be overseas long distance okay so this person could be overseas long distance in the fourth week we're dealing with past life issues so if you're a lawyer and you're between the ages of um, 25 and 45 you're really having some control issues and that is why your relationships aren't working out okay um, you're creating so much karma because you have these control issues and that's why your relationship is not working out we're seeing the bond of friendship coming up with people whoever these people are we're seeing the bond of friendship and there are um there are 
love triangles. There's a lot of love triangles. God, there is a lot of gossip. It could be you Capricorn gossiping or gossip around you. Okay, so we're going to be checking out to see um, where the gossip is coming from because there's a lot of gossip around you Capricorns in this month of June. Just so much gossip that is happening. So let's see where this gossip, because I'm looking at the monthly energy. So in relationships or about relationships, there's just a lot of gossip. It's not, it's not um, positive um, gossip. It's just uh, really people just getting involved in other people's shit, okay? So be aware. So this gossip, where is it coming from? Some regrets. Some of you have some regrets about the relationship and you could be talking about this. And it has to do with a Pisces, Cancer, or a Scorpion. Now, um, this Pisces, Cancer, or a Scorpion could have been the love of your life, but there is definitely um, a resolution that is going to be coming in, okay? So, you men, you men, you um, men, 45 years and older you could have had some issues with your trial or it could be with a young Pisces cancer or scorpion because as mature men you are here in your reader so as mature men you are the men 45 years and older and you could have had too much fun with a younger person and you're now having regrets um there was a lot of passion with this this young person and whatever has transpired and some, there's now a whole lot of gossip that is going on over what has transpired so whatever it is I think you're going to be helping this younger person okay so um, I'm definitely see help coming in okay so whatever the gossip is with a Pisces cancer or a Scorpio I'm seeing that communication is going to be here is as if um, someone could have found out that either a girlfriend or um, their sister or brother was in these love triangles that they had like different relationship all over the place and what is going to transpire is that this person is going to come clear and said yes I used to do it honestly I need help and um, definitely um, what is going to transpire is that you're going to be realizing that you were right and the person really said you know yeah I used to do it but I love you I want to be with you so there was absolutely no communication with this person um, and how how this person comes up in the monthly reading which this is the casting over um, this is a Pisces cancer or a scorpion that was involved with a lot of relationship with different people. You were like one of his numbers. He was in a lot of love triangles and you're gonna be finding out about this and you're gonna be really, really discussing it with him to find out, you know, what has transpired and what has happened. But definitely, um, this person is the love of your life this person is really the love of your life now this person could be coming in also has um yeah um your your child that has gotten himself in some love triangle and there is just a lot of issues a lot of gossip over that and you're going to be trying to get your your child out of the situation but whoever this person is the spicy cancer or scorpio they really loves you it's no question um, this person cares about you they love you they want to be with you it's not a question they know exactly what they want and you know some of you your intuition was right about the way you felt about this person so it's as if you have connected with this person in lifetime and lifetime before yes you were right because um, you're going to be feeling this energy coming up because they are going to be letting you know how they feel about the situation but they're they are going to they, they they are going to be honestly saying you know yeah you know I can hide it yes I was I was seeing a lot of people I've always seen a lot of people you know I've I've all the always have open relationship with other people and they accept it but I met you and you are the one 
who changed my life. So, you know, the thing about it in this sort of a situation with this Casanova, and it doesn't have to be a Pisces, Cancer, or a Scorpion. This Casanova could be just someone who you ever met. And um, whatever the, the whatever that has been happening to you, you're going to be realizing that whoever this person is, so he is someone who sees multiple partners. And some people have that in them. Some people can do it. Um, some people might choose to, to accept this. And some people might say, no, I don't want this sort of energy into my life. So well, this is what, and this is what is transpiring now, because um, definitely this person is coming up and saying, yes, I used to be like that. There is so much gossip because some of you um, found out via gossip, and that's and this is it. I hate people who gossip. You know, I think um, zip it up. It's not your shit. Zip it up. Okay. Um, there is just some people that just sit on the bloody telephone. Get the hell off the telephone. You talk too much you need to go and resolve your own issues then you sit to gossip over other people issue because it's not your issue whatever is your issue is that and this is it and this is what I've always said to people I don't have any time to gossip like I had people who I used to talk to in the past and I think it was just a waste of my time and especially one person that I found out that you know this person was uh, um, um, it was a friend enemy and I'm thinking you know how can you do that I've only be kind to you I've only done kindness to you you know you're kind of you know basically off because if you are going to be um, someone who is being kind to you help you through a certain situation and certain issues in your life and you're working against the person but yet still friending the person to know what is happening in the first life and that sort of a thing you're screwed up you're you're basically screwed up okay um, that means you, you you have missing some normal norm a uh, norm about yourself as relationships you know um, uh, and and you know especially the women who um, claims to be friends and and seeing their par partner friendship they're, they're they're you know like um your friend but you're seeing your girlfriend or your your friend wife or girlfriend at the same time but your friend with this person but you're seeing their partner it kind of screwed up weirdo this is bad so it's like this sort of an energy that a lot of you are going to be realizing that is coming in is that you're definitely going to be like receiving that, you know, your girlfriend, someone who you thought was your friend is basically seeing someone else. And, um, you know, it is someone that you would have preferred that they were seeing you. So you're gossiping over this and I'm thinking, you know let it go the person didn't want you whatever the situation is so you can spend your time gossiping over the other person but the other person has moved on and they they're not in that energy vibration so you know let it go but some of you definitely um this person who has been seen and having multiple partners because the same people who are gossip you're also one of their numbers okay and um, if they would have even seen you, you have become one of their numbers. And you know, people can gossip over other people, but you know, when you draw a line and hold respect for yourself so that someone else can have respect for you, then you know, whatever the situation is, is that people always tend to gossip, and you need to find the right things to gossip about. And this is what is transpired, okay? So, people let go of the gossip because you know. What's the sense? You're gossiping, you're, you're gossiping over someone else, and you need things that needs to be fixed in your life, and that's it. So, you know, like I always say, if you know, I'm with my family and that sort of things, and I'm always saying, oh God, I need to fix my life. I, that person needs to see that they need to fix that in their life, and that sort of thing. So, 
um, you know, these are situations that will come up. So we are going to be looking at the images for the first week. And remember that the first week energy can affect, the first week energy can affect you in different ways. And it doesn't have to be connecting with you, okay? It doesn't really have to be connecting with you. It can be just affecting you. Okay, so we're seeing um, the energy of control issues. I'm seeing judgment call is coming out. For you mature men, 45 years and older, I'm seeing an ending to a relationship. I don't know, but um, there was some of you um, mature men who have connected with um, Aquarius, Gemini, and Libra. Oh, it, you men or women that was connected with um, Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra, it's just really some messed up stuff that is going on in this month. Oh, okay, okay. So, um, what we're seeing basically transpiring is that there is definitely some judgment call that is going to be coming out for you mature men. Something is going to be coming out about you. And whatever is coming out about the mature men or women, um, and it's more about the men, the mature men, whatever is coming out is going to bring an end to a situation, a deceptive situation that has been spelled. So some of you mature men, um, it could be that you have done something in the past, which you got someone else pregnant or a younger person um, pregnant. This is going to be coming out, okay? It's definitely going to be coming out. And justice is going to be on you but what is going to be happening is that I'm seeing that there is definitely going to be because this is someone who have known in past life and you both um, whether or not it happens um, if you did it um, out of that you wanted to have a child or it, it, it was it an accident or wasn't it an accident that is going that is what is going to be playing out for you guys but it's as if you was with um like you were married and you were seeing a younger person that sort of an energy um that is a situation that could be coming out for some of for some of you guys so it, it's playing in different ways and coming up in different ways it depends on how is it affecting you now I'm seeing definitely that a lot of you guys are going to be dealing with the Aquarian Geminis or Libra. Okay, because they're all here. Because this one is basically at the side. So, you know, basically we just want to know why are you guys creating or clearing up so many karmas with these Aquarian Geminis or Libra? Because they're definitely um, being a focus of um and it has to do with financial stability but i'm seeing new love that is coming in there was some deception um that has transpired there was really some deception that has transpired um with um you um mature men in the past so what was this deception because you could have done something the truth is coming out so you men, if you were in a relationship with someone younger or you were married and you had another outside relationship, whatever it is, it's coming out in this month, okay? So it could affect your family, it could affect your marriage, or it could affect the people around you, okay? Um, because it's as if... For you men 45 years and older whatever you did in the past is coming out to uh, to haunt you in the future um not really to haunt you but whatever you have done in the past is going to be coming out so you um men 45 years and older in relationships if you have gone with people who are younger than the normal age of intimacy it's going to be coming out for you men now and it could affect you guys because there could be legal issues but there is there is it's as if whoever it has happened to is saying let's have peace you know whoever it has happened to 
whoever this young lady is she's saying let's have peace you know it is how much years ago and it has happened um, it has made me stronger because I've learned so much in my life so you know let's just have peace and let let it be because it has happened and some of you whoever it happens to is going to find peace and I think by finding peace this is going to be ill in the situation because this is if people are going to be thinking because some of some of you could be sued for what you have done because you have done this person a lot of injustice you could be sued but this person is going to say you know at the time nobody looked at it at the time absolutely nobody looked at it my life went up in the flames and nobody had saw what has transpired with me but it has made me strong and I've become this woman or this person um, because of the injustice because it's basically injustice because some of you have taken advantage of someone who was younger some of you um, maybe had a relationship with another woman and a total different family where kids are meeting up in this month it is a love reading but if there's someone I love from a past because that's where all these gossip is coming in is um, a love from the past where this man had um, either um, used his or this you know and this is it you never know because people connect together with each other because they've known each other in past lifetimes and um, what what is transpiring is that this person have gotten someone who was much younger than they pregnant and you have to understand that kids ask people to be their parents so you know when you get pregnant it's not that you're blessed and you know no it's because some a soul asks you to be their parents to bring them in this earth energy and this is what has transpired so there is a, a whole lot of legal things and a whole lot of things and i think the younger person who this has transpired to is going to say hey let's have peace because in the time no one seems to um, try to resolve the situation and I'm now much older and I have learned to deal with the situation and get in over the situation so let's have peace but I still see that if you are the young person that it has happened to uh, I still see that it's as if they're going to be um, like subsidizing you um, which is going to compensate um, for all those years and I think that a monumental is going to be placed in your name because you have overcome this injustice and you and you and your family have changed the energy of love on this planet by forgiveness okay because this is definitely a forgiveness that you're saying hey um, whatever has transpired with me it was unjust in the time but I have grown and become a stronger person through this and you're uh, you're going to be um, you know saying forgiveness but I think that something monumental is going to be happening because of the way you deal with the issue and how you try to resolve the situation with you know unexpected luck is definitely going to be coming in for you because you tend to want to forgive than more to go in that place where you're going to feel hate and pain and sue someone so i'm seeing like um a resolution is coming and you know they were pumping that um and this is a love reading but it has to do with two people who connect from um a heart space or a soul space um, the years difference was different was different this mature man did not make the right decision with this young lady and now the truth is coming out and it's how we deal with the truth that is what is going to be transpired I'm seeing his wife um, um, his wife has passed away or some of them wives have passed away some of them children are now finding out what happened and some of them were never ever married 
and the ones who were never ever married, they find this young person to be the love of their lives. Um, uh, this young person has been the love of their lives. So this is why I say to people, don't gossip, because, you know, critic, um, critic gossip, but it is best, okay? Because whatever is happening, is that finally the truth came out and this mature man has to face his demons and his secret that he has kept because um, whatever he has done in the past it was basically that he um, is it adultery for some um, but he has had sex with someone who was younger and they have a child and a child that comes up that could be just pissed off with the whole thing finding out what happened and then all of it is coming out so you know however this is coming out people needs to stop gossip knows the truth behind it and I think this person is the younger person has become such a woman that she's dealing with the issues and the rest of you need to stop gossip gossip too much gossip too much okay all right so we have the, the verdict, the um, women between the ages of 18 and 45. You guys want to have fun time and passion, but um, wear your condoms, okay? Wear your condoms, okay? Um, it can happen in the second week or it can happen in the whole month. Wear your condoms, okay? So I'm seeing like a whole lot of women are going to want to just have some real yeah it's summer it's june and you're definitely going to be wanting to have some real fun times but um you gotta wear condoms wear your condoms so let's see what's um happening for you guys there is some sadness you young women there is some sadness you have no idea where to go because some of you were um in a relationship with a very rich man and he has left you um yes fun times but um there is a lot of judgment call that is coming up because some of you could be finding yourself either and i really don't want to say this okay so we're having the night um you young people it's it's really the second week is the energy of the young people and what is going to be transpiring for the energy of the young people in the second week is that a lot of good things is coming in for you passion is going to be there it's no question it's no axe and the passion is going to be there you're you're connecting with someone from a past lifetime the passion is definitely going to be there there's going to be a lot of fun times that is coming up but some of you need to plan your way forward okay you can have a lot of fun with a lot of people and you're hopping in and out of bed with a lot of people but um, always remember that there is always an aftermath okay and the aftermath comes in different things and I don't even want to start okay so um, a lot of people you know people could be looking at you as whoa okay um, I think that's like the fourth or fifth one I saw went into your house so lady whatever you're doing but some of you definitely definitely are going to be connecting with people from basic school past life people who you have known um, maybe from you were younger you're going to be reconnecting with these people and definitely a relationship could be coming out but there is some legal issue or you could be connecting from um, an Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra. But this person is an older person. This person could be a mom saying that, do you really want to go back to that relationship? You know, does it really matter? You know, how, who is this person? Do you really love this person that much to return to this relationship? So some of you are going to be dealing with an Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra, which should come up as your mom or coming up as someone who is really you know carving the knife through you to ask you if you really want to go back to that relationship so definitely we're going to be looking to see what exactly is finding out but 
I'm seeing that all of your worries is going to um, be coming to an end. So um, you young people definitely, it's going to be hot passion, hot passion. A lot of you young people are just going to be having hot passion. I'm seeing some of you young men who were having relationship situation. Whoever this new love is that is coming in your life, this is someone who you have connected with on such a deep soul, soul um, journey because whoever you're connecting with, the passion is off the chart, okay? The passion is off the chart. And, uh, um, <laughs> you know, a page of, page of cups. Okay, so... Um, some of you young people it's like it's unbelievable the passion is like off the chart you weren't expecting this what you're feeling is as if you have never felt this your entire life and some of you got scared in the beginning because um, you because you had never felt something like this it is as if it's open um, your heart chakra and you were feeling things that you have never felt your entire life and um, it was as if I have never connected with anyone and this passion that I'm feeling for this person is driving me crazy because I have never had something like this and I don't know what to do um, should I tell the person how I feel about should I not tell the person because a lot of you are in limbo because you have been hurt so many times um you're you're in limbo and some of you can't let go of a relationship that is with an aquarius gemini or libra but whatever it is this passion is just bloody off the chart and it's as if it's never ever a dull moment whoever you are with because this someone is definitely someone you have known from past life down the wheel of fortune and the six of cups this is something you have felt from a past lifetime this is a true love and I think that at the end of the month or in the second week you might tell the person I'm in love with you and you're gonna be pissed off because you didn't want the person to know that you're in love with them um, <laughs> yeah um, because you have been trying to hold this passion for such a long time and it's as if um, you're thinking okay it's just passion there is nothing else you know it's gonna fade and every time it's like it never changed it's like something new it's just another level and another level on another level and this passion is really holding you because you're realizing that it has been months and it's as if this is just mind-blowing it's just really mind-blowing so some of you had some fun times with an Aquarius Gemini or Libra woman and it was not as good as whoever you're connecting with okay whoever you're connecting with is as if they know how to touch you they know how to make you move they know where to touch when to touch when to touch and they know it's the highs it's the smelling it's the touch is the no and it's the you know when you are in the present of this person how you your passion is alive it's as if you just want to go 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 like a rabbit or like a dura cell battery that is never finished but with this person you know you had some fun times but there is a difference between fun having um intercourse being having fun and the passion there's a difference because you were having fun with this person but you're realizing that this new person is the passion it's the passion that keeps on elevating going at an higher and an higher level it's like it's never dull but with this person it was just fun and that's it and you're like okay you know I'm understanding that you know being with someone not everyone share the same feelings um, as we thought they do because um, a lot of people can go with different people but it's a different feelings that you receive from these people 
and someone out there a young person I've connected with someone who this passion just keep on going and going and going to the highest level and it's it's just it's in the higher marks every time you go with this person now let's check out to see who this other person is because I want to know marriage coming in to some people could be want to move in with each other okay so um young people let's see who is this passion coming back in? could be a pisces cancer or a scorpion who is this passion coming up with Ooh, okay some of you I'm seeing Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpion come coming up. I'm definitely, definitely here. Here it is, especially you young people. There is definitely new love coming in. Definitely, um, and it could be the same energy. It could be a Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpion, or it could be um, a Taurus, Virgo, or a Capricorn. Okay, I'm receiving other messages. Some of you men are going to be connecting or turning your back on um, a Pisces, Cancer, or a Scorpion. Some of you men, four to five years and oldest, are turning your back on a Pisces, Cancer, or a Scorpion. Okay? Some of you could be finding out that this person has been dealing with an Aries, Leo, or a Sagittarius, and you're definitely going to be turning your back on her. Whatever the situation is, whatever the reason is, you're definitely going to be turning your back on her. Now, there is the reconnection so let's say um, that you men have had a relationship with um, outside relationship with someone and uh, your wife finds out now she's definitely going to be turning her back on you so um, be um, realizing why it's going to be happening okay Wow, the lighting is so bad. All right, definitely young love is coming in. I want to know. Some of you are definitely going to be asking to get married. I'm seeing signing contract of um, signing contract of uh, um, with an organization. So you could be asking for marriage license. Uh, some of you young people could be asking for marriage license. You also could be asking for um, to move in together with people. I'm seeing that your intuition is right. I'm seeing a lot of you healing. Um, car karmatic issues that you have been going through, emotional issues from past relationship, past life relationship. And definitely a message is coming from a friend and the friend is going to be telling you of someone or uh, someone that was gossiping over you. So definitely um, some of you are going to be receiving a message in this month from a friend um, it could be a text message or it could be an email or it could be someone of to let you know that someone a friend of yours could be gossiping over you or was gossiping over you now definitely um, there is a resolution that is coming in so let's say um, that you guys were far apart but every time that you come together the passion is so good um, some of you could be moving in together um, some of you could be asking for marriage license. Whatever the situation is, it's definitely going to be working out in your favor. Some of you who was in a relationship with an Aries Leo or Sagittarius, it was very burdensome relationship. You have ended this relationship and you are moved on. Okay, so you have ended this relationship and you're moving on. I'm seeing a healing that is coming in between um, the water sign okay um 
I'm seeing the ladies in um, the relationship could be turning their back on. So the Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpion ladies in um, the love relationship could be turning their backs on you. But it's, it's, it's okay. Just let it go. Let it go was meant to be. Okay? Let it go. A lot of gossip. And it can be positive, but it can also be a friend that is gossiping over you. So be aware of that. It's kind of bad when friends gossip over. But anyway, that's it. So, we have the king. So, some of you, oh, there's definitely positive gossip in. Um, positive news is coming in. Um, you know, so from the gossip, it's going to become positive. And, the, you know, it, the gossip could be that, oh my God, um, she has gone through this or he has gone through this. And um, I'm seeing just because you have the side to heal a situation and doesn't really gone to you know blow up the situation that people are really talking positive around you and really realizing what you have been doing um, because it could be that some of you got pregnant when you were young but you have turned your life so much around that people are having respect for you to see what you have done with your life even though that situation that has transpired okay so Wonderful situation, wonderful situation is going to be happening for you guys. So, so we have the Ice King. We have the energy of the Ice King. Ice King is always a CEO, a businessman, people in eye power. Okay. Some of you are in a relationship with this person. This person was um, was your your keeper, it's as if he kept you up. So you're basically in a relationship with this person. He financially supports you. Um, <laughs> um, he financially supports you. And um, yeah, um, whatever is transpiring. Um, whoever is this lady, she's getting very annoying. <laughs> so we're going to look at her because i gotta look at her because she's she's really getting annoying so some of you could have had a relationship let's say you're a young person you have met this older woman this could be a mother that is interfering in relationship and you need to, to get out of your um you need to get out okay i'm i'm, I'm just gonna leave you there because you need to get out of your kids relationship it could be that some of you um was in a relationship with a lawyer or um, some of you have met a lawyer but this lawyer was in a relationship with someone else and this woman is just overbearing now she's like really irritating you know because yeah you know if he wanted to be with her he would have been with her but yeah so the center is the energy from the king of wands okay so there was definitely some of you were having some issue with the skin of ones. You receive help and definitely you're going to be receiving a new offer. There is a whole lot of conflicts that is going on with this new offer and this new situation and this new issue. Whoever the skin of one is, some of you were div divorcing someone who is a um, Aries Leo or Sagittarius this person is really not normal okay because the truth is coming out of what this person has done this person was in a whole lot of shit that he was doing some of you um, uh, someone in authority um, someone and there is some someone out there um, you could have been investigated by someone or a lawyer or a judge and this person hold their heart when they found out what has transpired with you and to see the beauty of who you have become is in love with you this has been coming up because it came up it came up last um, week and I think whoever you are um, that is super sweet of you you are an hurt angel and I think if you really um see the beauty within this person reach out to this person okay 
whatever way it is reach out to this person take my words um, because maybe you both were meant to be and this is the way that you cross each other part okay and you're a sincere person and this is why you see the honest truth of this person and the lies and deception um, that was going on and you know your heart break to see what has transpired and I can guarantee this this person is also looking for someone like you in their life reach out okay so if you're a lawyer if you're a lawyer or a judge or an investigator that is investigating an issue a situation um, I see you you not only want to help this person but you want to connect this to this person and offer this person something because you have realized the injustice that this person has gone through the sadness the the the, the sadness the, the 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 horrible situation that has affected this lady in the past and you you feel the sadness you feel her sadness and you definitely wants to reach out to this person and I would say yes go for it it's a yes it is a yes um, unbelievable you might just realize that it is the love of your life and she is the love of your life so whatever because um, whatever that is happening because there is an older man who has created some really nasty thing and some of you who were who are dealing or divorcing and um, some of you who are dealing or divorced um, you know you're going to be divorcing an Aries Lee or a Sagittarius I don't know you know it's a good 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 idea that you're divorcing this person because this person was just off there off there and it's a spiritual because um, you and this person have to grow spiritual okay and I guess you have helped this person because this person has created a lot of obstacles in your life and all of a sudden you decide to end this, end this issue end this relationship end this situation and you are doing that so you're handling the issue ending the situation ending what was happening because this man has created it for some of you um, you could be divorcing this man because you have found out that he has done some um, injustice things and he might be going to jail and some of you are deciding to divorce him before it has gone so far because you don't want to be involved with whatever is transpiring and it's the best thing ladies and gentlemen if you are in a relationship well if you profit from it then you have to um, but oh. I don't know I've never ever thought about my that you know people in relationship on their partner depends on what has transpired and what happened you know so but some of you after you you're leaving this person okay because I'm seeing this person going to be offering some of you especially if you're living abroad some of you who are living abroad you um, have a feeling that your partner is seeing someone but they're not seeing anyone okay um, I'm seeing that um, they're going to be deciding to ask you to marry them so um, it's as if they feel that yes I'm at the point where um, I want to you know I'm reached a point that I want to ask this person to get married to them so some of you if you have long-distance relationship I think your partner um, you know is going to be pushing towards that to say hey I want to get married to you for whatever the situation is whatever the reason is I want to get married to you so this situation um, is definitely happening here where um, it's as if you guys have been in a relationship for quite a long time um, you, you guys could have lived together but then one went abroad to work or study or whatsoever but the relationship still the relationship still you know hold together and they are going to be saying you know let's get married um, they're going to be pushing the relationship to that level because they don't want to lose you for whatever the reason is and yeah maybe they're in love with you maybe they really truly loves you okay so that's what happens okay so let's move forward and 
check out the last week and really you know if you are an investigator or whoever you are and there is someone because I'm you're you're checking out the person um, a media page and that sort of a thing and it is someone you become it's not really fascinated is that you it's, it's as if you connect with this person from a soul level this person might not know you but I think find a way to reach out not a corny way because Capricorns you know you Capricorns you know you like you don't like the corny way but send a person something you know um, send the person um, a basket of fruits or a healthy basket and ask them out um, ask them out on a blind date and see if they will go um, I think Capricorns would go because Capricorns are you guys are like okay let me see because you're always going let me see what's happening and um, so do something like that find some really nice unexpected things to do and then ask this person out because they will definitely go you Capricorn figure out something and whoever you are you're going to find out that you are the love of their lives and they are the love of your life okay because it's as if you have known each other in past lifetime and this is how you guys are orchestrate the meet between you both is because um, this is how you both will reconnect in this lifetime because you have to understand that things situations um, some of you who are in a relationship with an Aquarius Gemini or Libra you piss you you're so sad you don't want to be in those relationships anymore and yet so some of you men who are in a relationship with an Aquarian Gemini or Libra um, you're so sad it could be also that some of you men are having legal issues okay some of you men could be having some legal issues you're going to be okay i'm seeing justice justice coming up for a family or coming up for an issue in a family okay love triangles are coming to an end people are going to be making choices i see friendship coming up definitely I told you guys love was here to stay okay so this is why people were gossiping ten of swords this is why people were gossiping okay people stop gossip you know why are you gonna gossip over someone else you know whatever it is stop gossiping so, I'm seeing a marriage. I'm seeing someone reconnecting with someone from a past life, and definitely this is just going to be such a powerful, powerful relationship. Um, some of you might not be able to have kids, but it's going to be okay. It's not. It's not a pressure for this person. Okay. Um, friendship. I'm seeing, um, like people reconnecting with their friends and making friendship bonds okay so some of you could be leaving a relationship but you're saying you know the relationship the intimacy didn't work but I still want to be friends with you so this is going to be good um, definitely um, I've seen justice um, balancing out of karma so it's balancing out of karma is the same thing because it's as if um, a situation had not worked out and you guys are saying okay it hasn't worked out but I, I still want to be friends with you and this is going to be good love triangles are coming to an end and I'm seeing people want to the love triangles are definitely coming to an end and I'm seeing people are really wants to um, you know keep what they have and work on what they have so whatever love triangles that was going on people are breaking off these love triangles and choosing to have one relationship and focus on that one relationship and there is a lot of information that is going to be coming through because a lot of text messages because people start to block other people and decide to focus on their own relationship and I think um, it is a time where especially people who were in love triangles is really realizing that 
hey, um, I'm not seeing these two persons. I'm basically tired I have to be drugging these two persons and I don't see the reason why I should be doing this to myself. So I'm gonna make a decision, hey, I'm ending this. I'm seeing a strong foundation with marriages, definitely. Um, strong foundation with marriages. There is an issue. Um, some of you who are married and trying to um, begin a family and it's not working, the issue is going to be resolved, okay? So, um, wonderful. Um, you know, you can also adopt, okay? So some of you could be having problems. Um, some of you could basically be having problems trying to connect um, with you know to have a child or something like that I'm seeing some sadness um, um, some sadness that is coming up um, and people are just walking away from whatever the sadness in their lives they're letting go of the sadness they're really standing up letting go of the sadness and really looking forward it is a good month for the singles because if you're single um, there is um, a really positive energies that is going to be coming in up for these singles and I'm sorry ladies and gentlemen I just need to find out who is this bloody um, ooh okay do you guys see that that's how it works with me okay so where do you start okay so some of you were deciding to end a relationship and they're and they're saying no um don't end the relationship um give this person a new chance so there is a new love that came in there was some conflicts there was some obstacles and um you were deciding on ending this relationship and they're saying no don't end this relationship um you need to work on this relationship okay so this is good all right because i'm seeing and it could be let me see if it's um Okay, some of you were dealing with an um, with an Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra. Whoever well, this person is, you you had some. Ooh, bam! Did you guys see that? I do this all the time. It's just I don't know. My guiding angels they work like. All right, so I actually surprised my family weekend. All right, so ooh, okay. So um, some of you in the month you are going to be receiving some messages mm. from an Aquarius Gemini and Libra lady and I'm seeing the energy of the tree of swords so it could be her or it could be you now we're going to be finding out is it her or is it you? Now, you are going to be receiving some positive news, you Capricorns, um, from this Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra, and the news is over, and Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, that you were having some issues with. So, um, again, some of you, the message from the Aquarian, Gemini, or Libra, um, it is good news, a wheel of fortune, bringing you blessings, and it is over an Aries Leo or Sagittarius. This could be someone who has been stalking you for a very long time, and it's as if they have uh, caught him now. Okay, so if you were stalked for a very long time, I'm seeing justice coming up with a family issue, um, relationships, marriage are going to be good. And seeing people resolving whatever issues they have with their marriage and it is going to be good so it's an hour you Capricorns I love you guys I gotta go for a private reading <laughs> um, you can go to my website and use the love readings bye